Hey guys, Matt here with Carolina Coops and standing next to me is Ingrid. If you've heard me refer to her before in some other videos, she is the mastermind behind all the editing and our marketing, website design. If you've enjoyed the website, she's the lady that gets the credit. If you didn't like it, we'll let her know in the comments down below. Anyways, yes, Ingrid, thanks. so good to see you. <laughs> you too, Matt. I'm putting her on the spot right now uh, because we're actually down um, doing some work in this beautiful city of Raleigh, North Carolina and on this beautiful corner this is ingrid's home and she's being so nice to let us expose her life if you will and one of the biggest reasons why i wanted to do this video is i am so proud to see what she's done um from taking a how many how many acres you have here or it's acre a, i should it's say it's a quarter of an acre quarter acre all right so we're in the city of raleigh quarter acre and i just love what you've done um and of course introducing our chicken coop in the back which we'll talk more about that here in a little bit um so what she's done is you pretty much made gardens everywhere right yes we had uh, eight trees taken out um we got rid of the lawn we put solar panels on the roof and we just started one by one putting in beds and now it's you got so functional yard here basically I do. We, every inch of our property is being used awesome love that every <laughs> inch is being used now so she's a little upset at me right now because it's what, what's the date it's april something yeah, april 17th mid, yeah mid so growing season hasn't really started but i see things growing and to me this is beautiful for someone that doesn't do this i'm very envious um and i know a lot of people out there are going to think the same thing um so we're definitely here primary to talk about chickens and chick coops and all that so i want to talk about what you've done since you've put in the coop hit on a little uh, a couple things that make this very unique also we're down here on the corner and then camera lady i'm not sure are you getting the shot up behind us i am getting the shot behind you i'm gonna pan out here so here's the thing so you can see the coop up there on the corner and you can see this fence that she's got around it what you don't see until i mention it is what i call the canopy she actually has bird netting that I'm gonna show you closer here in a little bit of what she's done to keep our daytime predators out like hawks and eagles and things like that. All right, so we're back up into what I like to call the chicken yard. Yes. And, um, you know, again, right away, I wanna point out, I, I love this. And a lot of it's gonna be because this is such a simple solution that, to a problem that a lot of people have. I used to be a bird guy, I used to love actually keeping birds out and that's what you did here uh, to keep your chicken safe. And I can't say it enough, you know, this is why we love the black PVC coated half inch hardware cloth uh, because it absorbs the light. I mean, when you're down there, even though you are at a lower elevation, you just don't see it. Right. You know, you're looking right through it. Think of it like the screens on your windows. It's black for a reason. So just a great job. I see that. So you put in a four by four post. Right. Uh, how tall are we thinking? It was 12 and then we made it a little bit higher when we had to bring the the fencing down okay so that's why you had those mending plates right. there okay so I wanted it to peak there for the cables to kind of give it some shape so that's why we have the cables running kind okay of like a spiral. and you just got your cables going out kind of mm -hmm. like an octopus going to these eye bolts at right at each post yeah and that helps hold it up nice and easy so I guess the question is has it done the job yes cool yes. all your girls are safe yes and they can be out in this area all day and all just such a good peace of mind oh absolutely you got a place for them to be you know get in the shade come out here and scratch i've seen you post videos of this this is uh this is the chickens doing yes you know they love this don't they yeah i have one in the coop and one out here and what i love is that you notice that this is open but they're still hanging out in their coop <laughs> yeah I, I was gonna brag about that a little bit when I, I, got am, I brag about it all the time because it's just amazing they choose to be in here all the yeah. time yeah that's one of the you know right, right there is just a great example of why you want a solid metal roof run you know it's not real hot right now i mean we're probably just low 80s you know again it's springtime but give your chat your chickens a chance to go get in the shade and if you can't let them free range which i'm a huge advocate of they're gonna love to hang out in the shade and that's just a textbook example so you got a lot of chicken paraphernalia i love these you got these little lights um that i'm sure are just solar. battery solar okay there's yeah, a solar a panel solar. right there They're not very bright but well you may not want it too bright because that'll probably drive the chickens crazy at night yeah, right yeah. so it's probably more for looks yeah that's cool i like them you'll definitely have to bring up a shot like right now ingrid bring it up right now right here <laughs> okay i'm sure you got a picture of this at night um all right cool i love all the chicken paraphernalia get to have a lot of fun there so i noticed i was kind of poking around before you came out and uh you did something that is pretty clever 
you gave me another reason to tell customers why you might want to have two egg hutches. Oh. Right? <laughs> so here we have the egg hutch on this side. Yes. What are you using for nesting material? Well, there's straw, but there's also that aspen bedding for there that kind of stays a little bit better. Yep. Stays together. Yep. Now, uh, what made you go to the aspen bedding? I did it actually. Go ahead, go ahead. No, I did it once because they had moved the straw around mm -hmm. in a ball. Yep. And they laid an egg and it broke. Yep. And so I wanted some kind of padding. So they come in those sheets. So I have like a sheet underneath there with the bedding to kind of, so if they do decide to lay an egg and there's, it doesn't hit the, the wood. Yeah, I love it. Um, you know, chickens, they're gonna wanna make a nest. You want them to make a nest. Yeah. And I discovered this with our, down at that coop that we did down at Delray Beach. He had them brought in on Amazon and we cut them up and I put them in there. I was like, dang, yeah. I like them a lot. And it helps lock all that nesting material in. And yeah, if you, it prevents that egg from breaking. And obviously you don't want them to break the eggs. Uh, well, you miss out on it. Yeah. And you don't want to take a chance of them learning to eat them. Yeah. So it's worked really well. Yep. Love that egg hutch. Oh yeah, yeah, let's, let's walk around on the other side. Well, the, re go. Hmm? The, the reason we got two egg hutches originally was because we knew it was going to be seen by neighbors because you can see it from the street. So we know that the quintessential um, characteristic mm -hmm. of, an egg, of a chicken coop is an egg hutch. Yep. So we wanted one on this side, although that side is easier for us to get the access eggs for the eggs. Right. Yep. But since we don't have a big garage, we're not right by our shed. This is a wonderful storage unit. <laughs> yeah, come on around here. Check that out. So you've just convinced me that um, <laughs> I got another reason for a second egg hutch. Yeah, there's oyster shells, there's grit, garden gloves. Um, so it's like your, it's your coop pantry. It's my coop pantry. So now you um, did your own gutter system. Mm -hmm. And right there, I see yeah. a reason why I like the dowels. Yeah. Because what's happening is the cable, it's a little cumbersome with that gutter in the way. I mean, yeah. you can hang it over like that, but it's not gonna look as good. Right. But and look at I, that, I've never seen that before. So that's interesting. Yeah. So that's an easy change if we had to. Here's my favorite part. Make sure we get this, make sure we get a good shot here. All right, we're ready? Yeah. Now tell me how, when did you get your coop? September of 2017. 2017. Have you ever cleaned it? Nope. Love it. You ready? <laughs> Everybody okay. loves that part. Um, the best part. Carabiners, one of the things I love about our gate latches, there's a carabiner. Showed them in other videos, but if you've never seen them, that's what a carabiner is. And I'm just gonna put that down there. We're gonna open up the gate latch. Notice these screen doors. Tons of ventilation, cross ventilation, ventilation on all four sides. Um, you can never have enough ventilation. Let's open this up. We got another barrel bolt right here. Okay, so here, here's what I want to capture. Now, what we're going to be doing here soon is getting another video of cleaning out a hen house. It's going to be a little tricky because we don't have a lot of room back there, but I really want everyone to see everything that, about the deep litter system. So here we have, what would you say, 17 months? 19 months. 19 months, okay, sorry. 19 months of how many chickens? Six. Six chickens. And... How many bales, I see you're using industrial hemp. Mm -hmm. How many bales have you used so far? I probably put in two, maybe two and a half. The, the problem I have is I, I overfilled it at one mm -hmm. point. Mm -hmm. So there was too much hemp to poop ratio. Yes. Now, I, I wish, again, this is where I always say, I wish there was scratch and sniff uh, TV. <laughs> Isn't it incredible? Smell a vision. Smell yes. a vision. You smell nothing. No. You absolutely smell. No That's the beauty of the deep litter system. I still, I love when I tell new customers, you can go a year, two years, three years before you have to clean out your hen house. They're like, what? Oh, here's another great shot. I just want to make sure you got that. Let your ladder disappear. Perfectly fine. It's perfectly fine. That ladder is there for the people that have those special chickens that want to make it nice and easy for them to get in and out. I love this part. Here's something that I just find myself not talking enough about, educating enough about why our chicken coops are so great. And I forget to mention, you know, yes, they're big, they're beautiful, they're very functional, tons of ventilation, keeping them safe from predators. Nobody likes going out and chicken, uh, cleaning a chicken coop yeah. that I know of. Um, and here you went 19 months, and I'm seeing a good average of three to four inches. I'll bet you, you could go another six months, if not a year um before you even had to clean that out i almost want to test it 
but um, I know you were uh, antsy to clean it out. Maybe the reason why I want to clean it out this year is because this is great fertilizer, so this needs to cure. Oh, well. okay. All right, now the truth There's comes the out. There's the motive. Yeah, the you want The gardener so, wants the poop for the yeah, garden. So there you go. Th th that's another great point, you know, is that this isn't done right here. You yeah. do all this beautiful gardening around your house, and you have a second use for it. Yes. The chickens are giving you another great presence yeah. other than eggs is yep. of course the deep litter system yes. um okay all right boy you're getting me good today you're you're right that is a good point before we go into the run you you, you gotta tell everyone why you have this gazebo arbor pergola well, what, what, what do we call this an arbor um kind of a gazebo pergola yeah I guess it's a gazebo. anyways pergola. so you have you've added an addition right. off your run right why um, it originally was to give them more space because this wasn't fenced in. So they spent a lot of time here and were only pre-ranging when supervised mm -hmm. a couple hours. So you wanted to make your run bigger. Yeah, so it's a little bit bigger. Okay, so then what happened? Was it big enough for you? Well, it's never big enough because... <laughs> that, that's the point I'm getting at. A lot of people think I'm crazy. You can never have a big enough run. I know, I know. Six chickens. And I'm going to say this once. Matt was right. <laughs> you got that, right? Well, I don't think we got it. Matt was right. There's two. Oh my never, sweet Jesus. It's the same right though. It's the same reason. Oh, okay. So, all right. <laughs> you can never have enough space for your chickens. And you don't realize that until after you have them. And you know, they're little and you think, okay, they're fine. And then you're like, oh, they really love being out. Oh, they really love scratching. Oh, they really love this. And, and then you just realize that you want to keep creating more and more space for them. Yes. But you also, you know, for, for me and because we're right by the street and I have a garden, I didn't want them everywhere. Right. They, I mean, honestly, chickens will destroy your garden. Oh, yeah. They'll rip everything out. Absolutely. So whether or not I had predators, I still would have to keep them contained. So, and then here's the other thing. You have um, the same number of chickens that you started with, right? I Since do. They, the same, and the you exact have not, same chickens. Yeah, you <laughs> have not added to your flock. No. Um, do you have any plans adding to your flock? I do. We do want to add. Um, we're trying to stagger them just so we have um, egg production because we will let them grow old here. So we want to kind of stagger. Um, they're almost going to, there'll be two years at the end of this summer. So we'll start, I think maybe in the fall or spring. Well, that'll be fun when you get your baby chicks and. If not, or we'll just add like four. Adult people. hens? Yeah, adult. Or, yeah. Or, or big pullets or something. Right. Yeah. So you're going to also want to give room for them as well. Right, so which is why we didn't throw 10 or 12 in here right away. Right. So you can never have a big enough run. Another example, um, we just I can't say it enough. So that was a great example. And again, what you've done out there is just tremendous. So let's walk into the run. It's super cute in here. So here's just another example. Hopefully we can get this on camera. It's a little tight in here. Just tell me, camera lady, if you need me to move at all. But um, the other nice thing about having a run is being able to walk inside of it, not having to bend down like you can or like that you have to a lot of these other coops. We love how tall all our coops are. Mm -hmm. And uh, it just makes it so nice when you walk inside here. Yep. Um, you got another big window right there. And I see you got all kinds of uh, goodies and uh, chicken paraphernalia going on here. Yeah, just to give them stuff to do. So you were also mentioning when we were on, on the back of the hen house that uh, we're talking about not having to clean your run. Yeah. Talk, talk more about that. Well, I just, I just add organic material to it. So sometimes grass clippings from the backyard, obviously, because I don't have grass in the front. But sometimes grass clippings or leaves or straw. Just to interrupt really quick, a big question that we get from these videos mm -hmm. when you guys say organic matter. Okay. So what is organic matter? What is organic matter? People want to know if um, what kind of organic matter does it have to be certified USDA with the sticker on it? Uh, where do you get organic sod? Where do you get organic wheat straw and other such things? I love that customers get this picky about it because that's why they love us. And um, so I, I want to add a couple things here. And you know, Nan, you're exactly right. Uh, that's why a lot of times I refer to carbon and then we'll still get a question. What do you mean carbon? Right. Um, you're adding your grass clippings, your leaves from deciduous trees. You're adding bark, you're adding mulch, you're adding, we, we use a ton of shredded paper, right? You I know, call it brown to green ratio. Right. I'm sorry? The brown to green ratio. Right. So you're just adding carbon uh, on top of the nitrogen, which is the chicken droppings. And one of the biggest reasons when I hear about people having to clean out their run 
is going to be one you don't have a solid roof run so it's wet. getting wet and you don't want a wet run you'd rather have a dry run and maybe have to go in there and mist it a little bit if you need to help the microbes out uh, number two which is the biggest problem you're checking the coop ratio if you have you know where are we at we're a six by twelve this is 7.2 chickens, 10 square feet per hen. Um, so six is a perfect number if they're gonna stay in here most of the time. But again, can't say it enough, let them out as much as possible. But if you put 20 chickens in here, and you'll hear people say that, right? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, put 20 chickens in a six by 12 area, full time. You're gonna overload the run with nitrogen. The microbes are not gonna be able to keep up with it. It's too much. Chicken to coop ratio, absolutely critical. Um, so yeah, I mean, this is just amazing. You've done a great job. Um, do they love the xylophone? They do not. <laughs> <laughs> Dang it. I was really yeah. hoping to get I one know. this summer at the yard sales. Yeah. yeah. To answer Anon's question, organic matter basically just means anything that, you know, you're saying, anything that you can throw in there. It doesn't have to be USDA organic. Organic meaning that it... Though it could be. It could be, but it just basically comes from the yard. I mean, what? I mean, it doesn't get any better than that. And that's another thing I love about having chickens is, you know, not only the chickens giving back to you the eggs, the fertilizer. Um, you're using parts of your lawn uh, to with that cycle. Anything that, for instance, isn't viable in the garden can be fed to the chickens. Um, so nothing gets wasted. Right. You know, I love that. We compost it. We can feed it to the chickens. We can eat it ourselves. Feed it to the dogs. It's another great yeah. chore for the children. You know, to go take the grass clippings after you're done mowing the lawn. Oh, you're not done yet. Throw it in the run of the coop. The chickens love it. Here, here's the other thing I wanted to talk about is, um, I see you made your own water bar. Mm -hmm. And are they loving it? Is it working well? Yeah. It, it just doesn't get any easier than yeah. that. So now, did you make your own heated systems? I see, yes. if I remember correctly. Yes. Okay, so you got a pump right there. You got a pump. It's that not plugged in right now because we have an extension cord. We don't need it right now. But yeah, it had a pump. Worked perfectly. Never froze. Where'd you get the idea of how to make your heated water system? Um, from from you, Matt. <laughs> <laughs> from uh, YouTube. Yeah, I'm glad. I'm glad it's working. Well, we're not strangers to rain barrels because we have like 12 of them on the property. So. Yeah, I see that. <laughs> but it makes your life easy as a chicken owner, right? Oh. Yeah. I'm the laziest chicken owner you're ever going to meet and I just, I've had so much fun trying to make it easy for everyone and whether you buy it from us or you're trying to make it your own. It kills me that people have so many chores and problems with chickens and it really does start out with the right coop so Yeah. It just, just starts, to set yourself up for success. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. It's, it's yeah. Just, That's why we're in the business, to be honest with you, uh, being animal lovers, chicken lovers. Um, all right. I think that might sum it up. Um, the only other thing I did want to talk about that we might be able to use is if you notice coming back on the inside, this is uh, proof of how old your coop is, is one of my original ideas of trying to make these coops as affordable as possible is having the ribs run um, horizontally instead of ver vertically. And I got this idea from carports uh, actually out in Texas and we decided and actually mentioned it earlier it's easier you know she's got a gutter on here it's easier to capture the water off the roof with the ribs going this way so being that we love you so much uh we're actually going to come back and change this out for her so we're going to add the purlins we're going to put a whole new roof on you'll have the ridge cap uh but just something we wanted that's to point out that's the rumor that's the <laughs> Yeah, because her roofing, we've had it for a year, and it's actually traveled with us around the country, and I believe it's back down in Raleigh, and that's the rumor. Right. Nice. Anyways, well, so... Um, a compliment, I have to give you a date. Yeah. Ow. Anyways, uh, anything else? No, I think that's it. I think we touched upon everything that's great about your coops. Well, thank you, and I appreciate, and I should probably, I stated in the middle that you're letting us come here. Now, we actually just showed up, we're like, hey, we're shooting a video, and she's like, oh, let me go put my boots on. And actually, you got chicken boots. I do have chicken. You have boots. chicken boots. Yeah, I mean, respectable chicken keeper will have chicken boots. Of course. I mean, come on. Yeah, those are nice. We should have some Carolina Coops chicken boots. <laughs> Anyways, all right, guys. I hope you watched the video. I hope you've done a great job editing it at this I point. Know. And right now, you're going to bring up the number 919-794-3989, Maybe here. And here. the website, please. It, it, where's Where's the easiest for the number? Yeah, right there. Right, right here. All right, there. numbers right here. Yeah. Website: CarolinaCoops.com. Facebook, Instagram, 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 Instagram. Pinterest. Oh, yes, Pinterest. They love their social media. I love the YouTube. I know it all goes hand in hand. Uh, all you guys out there that have not subscribed, please subscribe. Please check us out at, you know, like us at Facebook, yeah. follow us at Twitter. Instagram and... Instagram. I keep forgetting Instagram. And Pinterest. 
Huh? Pin our coops. Pinterest, yes, pin our coops, <laughs> hashtag Carolina Coops. Um, we definitely love when we see customers um, out there that hashtag us. They're, you know, ninety percent of our coops now. We I don't even see. They actually get shipped out all around the world now. That makes me so happy to talk about. We've made these designs very easy for customers to assemble. Um, Try to think, is there anything else I'm forgetting for the sign off? No, I think you got it all. All right, cool. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks for watching. Is that a point to me you're rolling? Mm -hmm. I, think it. I, I think she did. I'm just to press the button and Cause that's not an, at all annoying. Covered in dog hair. Are you getting Are you a little hippie, little the hood? The what was it? Covered in dog hair. I've never named my chicken, so for my very first four, they're all named after each one of my grandmothers. Then I found out you're only supposed to have two. It's another story. Anyways, so <laughs> That's true. Um, two so grandmothers, how many... not two chickens. Right. <laughs> yeah. Um, are you trying to get an inch on me? Yes, of course. Are we recording? <laughs> We're rolling. We're rolling. <laughs> We're live. She's not happy with me. God. Hold on, man. Let me have the camera for a minute. I Wait. <laughs> I mean, non's facial expression there. All right. Well, you'll be able to come out and get some pictures. Um. Yeah, you have a couple. Okay. <laughs>